After spending time at Her Majesty's pleasure, Corey, the man behind the group Split, is keeping his music dream alive, starting his own label to promote his solo career. Uh, this is the famous St Raffles estate where I grew up. All of the boys will be hanging out here, we'll be playing football, we'll be singing, making beats on the shutters of the shops. Where I was, I mean, I could have ended up dead. If I stayed with the boys, I think the spiral would have been uncontrollable. I wasn't prepared to take any advice from anyone else. They weren't really helping as much as I would have liked them to. So leaving the band, I think, was the best thing that I could have done for my future. It's really weird because there's four of them. That they, it's a unified story. But hearing things that are, are, are not true do really get to me. Thank you. If it's true, then I hold my hand up. But if it's not true, then I will fight you tooth and nail to make sure that you realise that you're fucking lying. Noel, the quiet man of the group, no longer lives the celeb lifestyle. Married to Verity and dad to Rafe, he may have forgotten how to wear sunglasses, but that hasn't stopped him becoming a youth worker. Why did the band start? There was different reasons, of course. There was musical differences. Um, one, of the, one of the main singers left the band, and I had the fame, but not the money. And that's basically it, in a nutshell. Russ was known as the sensible daddy of the group, and is now a real-life dad of three, who also works with disadvantaged kids. Um, I'm, sure I'm absolutely doing this for my girls. My girls, you know, they literally saved my life. You know, when me and my partner um, split up. Apart from my development stuff with the young people, another passion and money earner for me is photography. Okay, to head towards me a little bit more, that's it. Lovely. I basically studied it before the band started. And what I should have done was stick with it. Really nice work there, I do love Noel to death. Uh, you know, he's got a huge heart. He also just jumped ship and didn't really talk to anybody. You know, me and Andre didn't really see eye to eye when we left. Jade never really says anything apart from, you know, what somebody else has said and then, if you like, kind of following their lead. And, you know, with Corey, it's just general behaviour over the last couple of years, what he said on social media sites. And do I really want to go back into it when I've got this? Seriously? <laughs> Okay. What I will say though is, when we do all meet for the first time, you better have security. The third member of the band now working with youngsters is Andre. Known as the cool one, he studied criminology and sociology after the band split. Married to singer Wendy, he's also a dad to a daughter called Heaven. Hey, Papa. What kind of issues do you feel that need to be resolved? Uh, I, I think the way we ended was just, it was really messy, you know? Mm -hmm. It was messy in terms of us not being there for each other's friends. It was messy financially, as you know. Yeah. I think the saddest day for me was when we got married. Mm -hmm. I invited all the boys. Yeah. Jade was my best man. Yeah. Noel came with his mum and his brother. I thought that was amazing. Amazing. And he's came. on our wedding video to this day. He's yeah. a beautiful speech. Yeah. But I was so hurt at Corey and Rust in the show. Mm -hmm. And I think that was the moment that signaled to me, this is truly over and this has truly um, got to a place now where the friendship isn't even there, you know, with, uh, with Russ and um, with Corey. Do you still see Corey as a brother after all of what's happened and stuff? Yes, I do still see him as a brother. Do I still see him as somebody who's relevant in my life now? No. Baby of the band Jade caught the eye of another baby backstage at a concert by the Spice Girls. 15 years and two kids later, he still loves to love Spice millionaire Emma Bunton, and their marriage is still going strong. This couldn't be any more further from what we were doing back in the day. I wouldn't have imagined myself being a dad with two kids, beautiful boys, a six-year-old and a two-year-old skiing on a Sunday afternoon, you know? Mommy. 
and Jade's pop star partner has helped him make the decision to get back with the band. When you got that first phone call, mm. obviously it's a moment where you go, oh my goodness, could this happen again? You know, being older. I think we all had, well, I, d I definitely had reservations about it. You were probably more reluctant than I was. I was quite, I was excited for you because obviously I've been there. I've toured with the girls again, which was, I knew how brilliant it was. Yeah. I think obviously it has been so many years for you, even though there's been other little projects, you've not worked with the boys mm. again that being back up on stage again, you're going to thrive off that. There's nothing like that feeling, is there, of being on stage with yeah. your mates, yeah. playing to did. thousands of people. It's just the most incredible yeah. feeling ever. Thinking it's scary, that. but it's, it's yeah. incredible. I'm really excited about meeting Andre and Noel and Russ, but I've got, I suppose, reservations and concerns about meeting Corey, as we haven't spoke for, I don't know how many years. It didn't end in any good good terms. Yeah. And especially with you four, you know, you're all amazing daddies, you've all gone on to do different things, you know, and it's that time where you can kind of come together and see how it goes. Interesting. It'll be very interesting. Ah! <laughs>